for that. This is where the shooting begins. Alright guys, I just did my stool antigen test for my H. pylori and these are tips for anybody who's going to do this. Now, you have to turn this in within two hours. So what I did was I incubated my babies, my lady lumps, and I came to the hospital where I'm going to turn it in. Before you even begin to do this, set up the toilet. You're not going to use it yet, but you're going to need it set up. So you set up the toilet. I made the mistake of not setting it up. Set it up. Have it all ready to go. Put the cup on the ground. Go in the cup. And then you still got to keep going and you're afraid you're going to overfill the cup. And that's why you have to have the toilet set up and ready to go. I did. And on top of that, you have to make sure you urinate before you sit on the cup. Because <laughs> I didn't urinate. And someone else walking out there <laughs> instantly came out of urine. So I, I, urine, I, I pee on the floor. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for anything. So after that, and then after that, the toilet wasn't set up. So I had to keep going. And I was afraid I was going to overfill up the cup. So I freaking. I, I set up the so set up the toilet, I sat down there, did what I had to do. The cleanup process, that's where it gets tricky. This is where you need the bag. Me, I was wasting my time because the whole bathroom stunk bad. And uh, so I threw everything in the plastic bag and I tied it up tight. If you're embarrassed like I am, I wrapped like I was gonna wrap it in the bag, but instead I wrapped it around the sheet that way no one has to see it. You know, it wasn't that bad. I was like, I was taking my lady lumps while I was scooping it up. Alright, that's, that's all I gotta do. So, yeah. So, yeah. Alright, that's on the bottom of the bottle they gave me. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm back and I just did my H. pylori antigen test and I'm celebrating by eating everything that gives you heart back. Flaming Hot Cheetos, I got the Subway Meatball Sub, Jer uh, not Jerry, the Olympic guy's favorite, whatever his name is, swimmer, Coke, caffeine, H. pylori loves caffeine and sugar. Then I got the best of both worlds. So, I just took my test right now and uh, and these are the tips when you're doing the this test. If you're going to be going to the hospital or something, or you want to be prepared before you even begin the process of filling up your antigen cup test, whatever. So what you're going to do is you're going to one make sure you have a plastic bag. When you go in there, you're going to want to have a plastic bag because the whole point is, you know, after you finish up with everything, you got to put it somewhere, close the bag tight. You don't want it to smell. Second, you're going to want to make sure you pee first because you have to let it all out, at least that part. And then, uh, and you want, <clears throat> and the reason why is because if you're in the floor, like I was doing it on the cup, it just, I wasn't prepared for this and just, just shot out of everyone. And uh, that was a mistake on my part, and I wasn't prepared for it. And then, second, you want, I mean, third actually, you want to make sure you have the seat ready to go. You want to make sure it flushes and you want to make sure the seat's good to go. You got all the paper covering everything around. Because after you finish down there, you're going to want to jump up into the safety. You know, you want, you want to go where you feel safe. So, remember guys, plastic bag, pee, make sure it flushes, get the seat ready. And after that, you're good to go. And then you begin the whole process and... Good luck to you.